Historically, urbanization has come in tandem with growing ecological footprints and in particular growing use of uh, fossil fuel. So urban dwellers, people living in cities, uh, currently account for more than 70% of the global carbon emissions. It does not have to be that way. Uh, so I'd say the problem today with urbanization is that we are not really tapping the potential of building cities that radically reduce our carbon footprint while improving well-being. So uh, we know we have a huge opportunity today because we will have uh, over the next 30 years um, an historical unprecedented growth of urban areas. We are talking about an almost double, doubling of the global urban population. And if we could get those cities right, it means that we could actually create uh, lifestyles for people in cities that have very, very low carbon footprints. People can still have a better uh, quality of life with cities that are greener, which allows more physical exercise like biking and, you know, just not having to uh, drag a, a one ton of steel with you every time you're going somewhere. Just, just be able to, to use smart collective transport and have public spaces, green spaces, regain areas that has have so far been occupied a bit by the car, all the new uh, urban area needs to be constructed with the best available te technology and using best uh, practice urban planning.